matches. But you know what's cooler than matches? Match magic. And I'm about to teach you three easy match magic tricks that you can do right now at home that barely takes any time or any practice. So let's get right into it. The first trick I'm gonna teach you is how you can take a match. Light it up, let it burn a little bit. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Make sure it's all nice and good. And then take the burnt match and actually re light it again. This should theoretically be impossible. Take a burnt match and relight it, but I'm about to teach it to you right now. So the secret to this is we actually got two matches. One that you light in the beginning and one that looks like it's already been lit, but in reality, it's just Sharpie. Let me show you how to make this. So how you do this is you take a piece of tape, you take two matches and you're gonna tape them like so. Now these matches are normal matches that haven't been used, but you're gonna take one end and you're gonna make it look used. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna take a Sharpie and you're gonna literally just color the match. So we'll make sure that all of the parts can be colored. You wanna make sure it's a black Sharpie so it looks like it's been burnt. So as you can see, I am coloring all of this in so it really looks like a burnt match. And once you got it like that, one side that looks like a burnt match and one side that's normal, you're ready to go. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hide it like so. You're gonna hide it where you're only showing the normal match. You don't wanna show the other side and then you simply just light it all right you're gonna let it burn for a little bit and then when you blow it out and the smoke is coming out you can shake the smoke out but what you're gonna do is at the same time you're gonna spin it around so it's gonna look something like this and what i did in that moment is as i'm shaking i'm just spinning it around so it looks like you still have the burnt part in reality you switched it that's the part that was already lit and this looks like it's been already used and so you literally can just take this and said even though it's been used before um so i, I might have broken the match but you would just you just light it and then it would be magic hold up hold up i still want to prove that it works just like that and although it broke, you guys get the point. That's how you do the first match magic trick. The next match magic trick, I'm gonna teach you how you can control fire. We lit a match, but with your mind, you can take it and make it vanish just like that. So how do you control a match with your mind? It's actually really easy. All you have to do is take the front of the match, put a little bit of water on it, or in this case, I use a little bit of saliva. Watch closely. We just coat the top part of the wood with some saliva, pause. And then when you light the match, it will naturally just stop right at the front and then you can control it with magic. You just time it for when you push your fingers together and it's gonna look like you can control a match with your mind. That one sounded really sus, but you know what? We keep going. For the final magic trick, I'm gonna show you how you can take two matches and make them magically link just like that. As you can see, they have completely linked and there's no special trap doors or anything that allows them to get in. So how do you magically link and unlink matches? All in the sleight of hand. You're gonna hold one of these matches like so. You're gonna hold it so that you can actually pinch the match as you can see. So the match is on the edge of my finger, just like that, and on my thumb on the other side, and it's made so that you can pinch the match. This positioning allows you to go like this at any point in time and make it just not connect, which makes it really easy for you to do something like that. All I'm doing is I'm slightly opening it and closing. So it's just like that. But you have it at such an angle where you can show, but when you show it forward, it looks like it just magically goes through and then you can even take it and magically make it come out just like that. It takes a little bit of practice. You gotta work on the angles, but it looks pretty freaking cool. And it's only using a couple matches or you could also use toothpicks. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you light up that like button, light up that subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next video.